Oil prices, they're plunging by historic amounts today. On 20th April, U.S. oil futures traded in negative territory, which means that for the first time in history, producers would pay traders to take oil off their hands. While it's unlikely that you will be paid to take petrol from the pump in the near future, this quite literally indicates how the Great Lockdown has turned markets on their head. This story begins in February, when China began turning away oil tankers as the lockdown intensified. Amid concerns that COVID-19 could impact demand, organization of the petroleum exporting countries' producers tried to negotiate a production cut. On March 11th, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 as a global pandemic, and the countries went into lockdown. Energy demand dissipated while oil producers continued to pump at will. Then, on 9th April, nearly a full month later, Russia and Saudi Arabia finally settled their differences. However, their truce came too late. Prices had already fallen about 60% from February highs, hitting their lowest rates since the 1990s. Up until recently, this was a fairly run-of-the-mill oil price crash. But then prices suddenly sunk below zero, with May futures for WTI oil closing at minus $37.63 on 20th April. So what happened on 20th April? The answer lies in the disruption of the demand-supply balance in the oil futures market. Before we get into the disruptions, let's understand how the futures market works. A futures market is an auction market in which participants buy and sell commodities or contracts for delivery on a specified future date. Let's say there is a Christmas sale on PlayStation, where it's been sold for 20,000 rupees instead of 40,000 rupees. You want to buy the PlayStation, the only problem is that you don't have enough money to buy it right now. A futures contract would let you buy the PlayStation at the same discounted rate even after a few months. The same way, an oil futures contract is a binding agreement that gives one the right to purchase oil by the barrel at a predefined price on a predefined date in the future. Futures contracts roll over month to month on a delicate balance between supply and demand. But this equilibrium fails when both demand and supply forces get a massive shock. Thanks to COVID-19, this is exactly what happened. Sudden stoppage of airline travel worldwide cut global demand by 33% while the mistimed price war between Russia and Saudi Arabia led to the excess supply of discounted oil. The result? Traders began viewing the May oil futures contract as a hot potato. No one wanted to be stuck taking delivery of oil when the world is awash in it. What added fuel to the fire was the fact that there was no place to store this oil. Oil futures contracts specify a time and place for delivery. For WTI oil, that specific place is Cushing, Oklahoma. With most storage capacity booked already, taking physical delivery wasn't even an option for many players. In other words, sellers outnumbered buyers by a crazy margin. This led to the traders dumping the May contract and pushing it to a June contract, with low buying interest making oil prices sink to minus $37.63 on 20th April. India does not trade with WTI futures contracts. We trade on a weighed average of Oman, Dubai, Brent crude contracts. Brent crude has been under $30 per barrel for much of April 2020 and has fallen to under $20 lately. Oil companies like ONGC and IOC are likely to book huge inventory losses since the large amount of oil that they hold on paper comes to be of much lower worth when marked to the market. On an everyday level, consumers are unlikely to get the benefit of low oil prices as refiners are using the opportunity to recoup inventory losses as well as the investments they have made to produce BS6 grade fuel. The government is also likely to adjust the excise duties to mop up revenues to help the country deal with COVID-19 and its aftermath. 